allegedly you have rights to your life to do anything you like. You have the right to work where you wish, you have the right to build your career however you need, and you have the right to have a husband and children and do your life. But what you're complaining about is what you're saying is that other people don't have rights to do. What you're saying is that you have the right to choose your life partner and you have the right to build a life family and you have the right to produce your life in any way. But what you're trying to tell me is that your youngest sibling who lived a very productive, performing, and project-oriented life pretty much until the tail end of his work with his late spouse doesn't have the right to continue his life and I'm looking at you thinking you know in all the things I've been listening to you tell me in this counseling session I don't hear any remorse in you I don't hear any regret in you and I absolutely do not hear any responsibility in you for the lies you've been telling yourself you see at no time have you talked about how you and he had a great time in your younger years at no time do I hear you telling me about how much fun he used to be before he met that girl. At no time do I hear you saying anything typical to a dysfunctional family. What I see is a woman who is out of control, thinking she is going to correct something that has never been her right to know anything about. And what I'm learning is that you've been reaching out to his ex-spouse or trying to through Facebook. What I'm hearing is that you contacted someone that you should have absolutely no right to even know about, who is a married woman to a very wealthy man who could bury his wife in the sand in their backyard for your stupid bill. And you didn't think once about how she could be mugged, raped, or killed by her asshole of a man who's addicted to porn, but you just thought that it'd be okay to snuff out her life by inquiring after the relationship that was none of your right. It was a business relationship, and what I'm also hearing is you've taken his book and done something with it. Again, not your right. The lies you've told yourself are out of control. The lies you feel you have rights to are beyond God's control. You have failed the Lord's house, you have failed your own family. You've destroyed relationships by thinking you should tell your youngest child about his private parts and you had no lawful right under any law in the land to do that. Incest is a huge fucking deal still in America and you've committed incestuous conversation. You've possibly committed incestuous acts if you shaved him or participated in that. And if you try to mental health him to be in control of him, it shows that you are out of control and what you understand what is and isn't lawful today in America. And the problem is that a lot of people will play because a lot of people want to get involved in controlling and being in power over someone, but this is what slavery is. Slavery says, you're my slave and you're going to do what I want whenever I want you to and I'm going to pay for this and I'm going to take that because I have rights. No, you don't. The money's not even yours.